Okay, this is a bit of a classic, this question here. We've got sand falling onto a mass balance. Um, at the moment that the first sand hits the balance, what reading does it show? Well, we ignore the weight of that initial tiny little piece of sand, and all we think about is a bit like if you were to um, fire the sand horizontally at the scales, if we were to shoot the sand at a plate, there would be a reading associated with the change in the momentum of the sand. So the equation that we need here is this one, which is Newton's second law. We can choose the time, and in fact in this case we should choose the time to be one second because we've got a mass per second. This is a, an m over t here. So the equation simply reduces to 90 grams per second multiplied by the velocity that the sand falls. So let's just quickly get that. Um, it falls through a height of 0 0.8 meters, so I'm just going to use a little shortcut here, um, which is that the velocity from a height is root 2 gh, um, which is the square root of 2 times 9.81 times 0 0.8 which gives me 3.96 meters per second. Putting that into the equation is going to give me um, a force of 0 0.357 newtons. And to convert that into grams, well, um, I suppose, what do we know? We know that 1,000 grams is, equ is equal to a force of 9.81 newtons. So I need to um, divide by 9.81 and times by 1,000. And that tells me that the initial reading on the balance is 36.3 grams. Now, after nearly all the sand has run out, it's, it's still hitting the balance at the same speed because it still falls from the bottom of the funnel here. And therefore, nothing changes. And we still have 36.3 grams of force because of the slowing down but in addition to that at the end there's the whole weight of the sand just sitting on the balance so at the end we have to add the 250 grams so that gives me 286.3 grams